Today, college and high school students learn firsthand what it takes to be a police officer, firefighter and EMT during a mock disaster training. Bedford Township Fire Department hosts the training in Monroe County with other agencies across Southeast Michigan. Megan Woods was there as those young people were thrown into action to see if they have what it takes. This training transforms Monroe County Fairgrounds into a mock city with non-stop calls. Brain injury accident in the grandstands. <laughs> From serious car accidents, one, two, three, Up. to domestic violence. I I the the TV. Look, now you got a cop yeah. here. Yeah. This training has a variety of simulations. Bedford Township Fire Chief says they do this training annually with youth who are already in fire or police cadet programs. A lot of it is just seeing the work that you do throughout the year and seeing the kids put it to use. It's a lot of problem solving. If you need more resources, you gotta start calling for them, right? But an opportunity young people like Daniel Gutierrez don't take for granted. Just going out there and then practicing and really testing your knowledge, because there's never, you never really know everything. We get into a scenario and we think we know what we're doing, but we always find out something new to do or what to learn, what to improve on. The Downriver native just finished his first year at Schoolcraft College, and this is his second time at this training. Has this happened before? Daniel's goal is to one day become a Michigan State Trooper. I can't shake a feeling of wanting to help others and then really just every day something different. And that's what this is all about, awakening that passion in the next generation. To try and get people interested in the public safety field, We've seen fire service, police service has seen a decrease in the amount of candidates that we're getting. Um, so we're trying to get one, get school age kids interested in doing this and then trying to increase recruitment for everyone. In Monroe County, Megan Woods, Local 4. This training has actually been going on for so long that a lot of the first responders who were there advising the students were at one point students themselves.